All right, what are we doing here? I need you to explain the TV to me. I already explained it four times. It's hard to follow, explain it again. All right, Malik is going to Bangladesh for a year with his girlfriend, Shanice. They're subletting the apartment to Shanice's stepbrother, Carlos, but he doesn't trust him with the TV because he loaned him his car once. No, nope. car. I've stopped listening. Can we order and then I'll try again? It just fell into your lap. These things happen. Can I turn it on? No, you may not. Do you understand why the TV makes me angry? For the life of me, I really don't. Because you hate television. I don't hate television. Well, you don't like it. Not especially, no. Right, and yet, this. I'm thinking Highline. What the hell is that? It's a tie. Oh. What? Every time you pick, I end up dropping a double saw buck on some oddly colored food I've never heard of that smells like feet and gives me the runs. Every time you pick, I end up either eating a greasy ass $2 slice or a meatball sub that smells like hot garbage. That's an exaggeration. What you feel like eating? I'm thinking about a meatball sub. Seriously, what percentage of your diet do you think the meatball sub represents? Uh, what, like my daily diet or? I'm thinking we order separate. <sighs> Here. Carl. Please. Please. Can I turn on the television? No. Why? It's not plugged in. You son of a bitch. But he doesn't trust him with the TV because he loaned him his car once and he took Whoa, the car. Whoa, who borrowed the car? Malik? No, it was Malik's car. I didn't ask you about his car. I'm talking about the TV. I'm trying to... You know what? Never mind. I bought it from a kid down the street from Magic Means. Does that do anything for you? Hey, great. It may not be credible, but at least it's short. And it makes some goddamn sense. Yo. Yo, delivery highlight. Okay, okay, okay. I need you to pretend this is your apartment and I'm not here. Uh, okay. Why? Yes. Because I forgot Andre does deliveries for Highline. Andre? Torn's friend Andre? Yeah. So, what's wrong with that? I hate that dude. You do? Yeah, don't you? No, he's alright. Fucking money. He's obnoxious. He never shuts up. He laughs at his own jokes and he owes me 50 bucks. So, if he owes you 50 bucks, then why are you dodging him? Dude, if losing that 50 bucks is all I have to do to never see Andre again, that's the best 50 bucks I ever spent. Just... Well, how much will you pay me to stay away? Please, will you please? Yes, fucking yeah. Thanks, buddy. <sighs> oh shit, yo, that car was going on, baby. <laughs> hey, Andre, how's it going? Just live it large, you know, trying to live like this on the car, you know? Uh, oh, how's that? You, you swelled up since the last time I seen you, man. Well, thank you so much for noticing. Ooh, you <laughs> taking a bath and gravy? <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, how much are you? <laughs> Yo, is your boy Bernie here? He ain't here by any chance, right? Uh, no, actually, Bernie's in Bangladesh uh, with some girl in a, in a guy's car. It's complicated. Cool, because I'm trying to stay away from that dude, man. I owe him like 10 bucks. Oh, is that a fact? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so what's up, Carl? We're going to hang out, man. man. Uh, yeah, soon, you know, uh, it'd be swell. Yeah, you know, go out there, pick up some holes and shit like yeah. that. <laughs> right, right. We'll, we'll get the prostitutes. Yeah. Let's check this out. This is my car, man. Yeah. Give me a beep. You know what I'm saying? And we'll hang out, man. Oh, you got a beeper now. Yeah, beepers huh? are coming back in style. <laughs> yeah, they're really not. Cool, man. Uh, Here's your food. Here you go. Thanks. And keep the change. Damn, three dollars call all these goddamn stairs out and walk up and give me All righty, well, we'll talk to you later Thanks now. Goodbye. Lot, <laughs> Thanks for that. Change? Told him to keep it. You tipped him three on seven? What do you want from me, all right? Add it to the 50. Ugh. What? I gotta go again? It's not my food, dude. You know, you're not always likable. That's my cross to bear. Mm -hmm. Hey, how you doing? Good, it's seven even. I got a tip. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. So three dollars is too much of a tip on a seven dollar delivery? Well, not necessarily. You got a lot of stairs. Mm, yeah, there are a lot, huh? It's like going to see the Maharishi. <laughs> <laughs> but you immediately went to the change, so it's got to be a high tip, right? Well, you're never supposed to assume anything. You always go to the change. So if this is a $9 sub and I gave you a 10, you would have to give me the change unless I told you otherwise? Unless otherwise instructed, I have to assume everybody's a douchebag. I already do that. <laughs> so what's my move here? Why don't you uh, keep the change? 
Thank you very much. I had a feeling you weren't a douchebag. It's like the nicest thing a woman said to me in months. <laughs> I'm Veronica, Hi. by the way. Carl. Hey, look, I, I know you're probably working here, but would you maybe like to come inside? Maybe hang out with me and my buddy for a little bit? You, know, you can rest from the climb. You rest. <laughs> I, uh, I could maybe do that. Yeah? Um, do you guys smoke? Well, yes. Yes, we do. 